Welcome. My name is Davy. Together we are going to get to know the Muve, Museo del Vetro, located in what was formerly the Magazzino del Sale. Here we are on Via Cosimo Ridolfi, one of the busiest streets in Empoli, with lots of shops, cafes and passerby. This was not always the name of the street. First, it was Via degli Asini, donkeys, then Via di Porta d'Arno. Two names related to its history and to that of the Magazzino del Sale. In fact, for over two centuries, from the 15th to the 20th centuries, this street was used by donkeys that pulled carts filled with bags of salt. Salt was important for nutrition and it was also used to preserve food and to process leather. It was so important that the salt trade in Empoli was controlled by the state. First by the Republic of Florence, then by the Grand Duchy of Tuscany under the Medici, later by the Habsburg Lorraine dynasty, and lastly, after the unification of Italy, by the Kingdom of Italy. The bags of salt arrived in Empoli from Volterra. When they reached Empoli, they were stored in the Magazzino del Sale, the building behind me. The salt was then sold to the townspeople. Or else, they were once again loaded on carts that crossed the Porta d'Arno, which was located on this street at the intersection with Via delle Murina, leaving the town walls behind and reaching the Arno River. There, the salt was shipped to Florence on barges. The Magazzino was built in the late 14th century, and it was very different from all the other buildings on this street. It was made of bricks, and it was elevated from the ground to prevent humidity. Its walls were reinforced around the base. It was a very tall building, and it had a sloping roof. Its few windows were sufficient for air to circulate inside. Inside the high-ceilinged magazzino was ample space to store bags of salt, a space for loading and unloading, and a room known as the scrittoio, literally, place for writing, used by the administration and for sales. In the 19th century, the Magazzino was enlarged to include the two low buildings situated next to it. Today's entrance to the museum is in the buildings where the offices once were.
fun fact, on one corner of the Magazzino, we can see a small niche with a brick arch. In other words, a shrine. Inside it is a glazed terracotta Madonna and Child that was placed there in 1912 when the restoration of the shrine was completed. The work was paid for by the people of Empoli, as we are informed by the plaque located lower down and written in Latin. Over the course of the 20th century, the Magazzino del Sale was gradually abandoned. That is, until the town administration of Empoli repurposed it to serve as the seat of the Muve, Museo del Vetro, in Empoli, which opened in 2010. The large amount of space inside it now holds glassware instead of bags of salt. Let's check it out together. <laughs> 